Hi friends, I am Suji Pavita from ECB1 Fanalo. Today I am going to explain you about application of wireless sensometry. I am not going to explain you about the whole application, but I am going to uh, explain you about one of the basic application of the wireless sensometry. Before going into the application, we will just look a glance about what this wireless sensor network is all about. Wireless sensor network is considered to be one of the most rapidly evolving technology in the current scenario. And what is this wireless sensor network? This wireless sensor network is a group of spatially dispersed sensor nodes. We have heard about the term sensor node, right? The sensor node is also said to be a MOTI, MOT, which is an electronic device which consists of the basic devices which an electronic uh, component sorry electronic devices require that is it has a power source it has an analog to digital converter and plants receive a module a storage unit the sensor can be a single or a multiple sensor and based upon the application there are some other features such as positioning unit and mobilization unit which is not in all the sensor nodes but in specific nodes so this is the Pictorization of what the wireless sensor network is all about. So I will tell you, this is one of the picture in which we can see that the sensor nodes are distributed widely and the whole region is said to be a sensor region which is connected to a base station and that to an internet hub and then we users use it. So here this is another one where not a single sensor region but number of sensor region. Here only two regions are mentioned actually when number of sensor regions are connected to internet hub this is the pictorization and this is the pictorization of the subsystem how actually this whole wireless sensor network works but here i'm going to discuss about the application so there is no need for what are the components required so now the application which i'm going to detailly speak about is about industrialization so now as we know we are in lockdown in quarantine so we are staying in home and working so in this time how we can actually use this wireless sensor network for the regular transportation things to work on normally and smoothly without human use so I have just classified this industrial application on the basic aspect and one of the favorite is that robotics that is my favorite and second one is logistics and machinery health monitoring so I will be telling about this one by one in the upcoming slides so first is logistics the domain logistics is a very keen area of interest in WSN where it needs real-time monitoring of various environmental parameters such as temperature, atmospheric pressure, etc. And the whole thing combines in helping out the logistics system along with wireless sensor network. So this logistic can be worked in transportation for the low-cost and high-quality deliveries. How? This is explained further in the development and deployment of WSNB system for monitoring transportation such as temperature and humidity and pressure and what and all for cargo containers like where the cargo containers which are transporting transported by ships. So it can help in transportation of the cargo vessels as well as the lorry. The main idea for the deployment of the monitoring system is depicted in the next slide which I will show you in that. Uh, this vehicle which you are seeing, you can imagine that is of the lorry and these are the cargo containers which is entered into the lorry and we can simply only a sensor node and a gateway is secured here and you can see that each cargo container has a sensor connected to it and even the lorry has a uh, sensor node connected to it and finally there is a gateway here which will actually monitor which will tell which will indicate from where to where the containers has to be moved so another example is the cold chain logistic that is a continuous temperature control supply chain that is for food supply even though we prefer for fresh food and things but 
nowadays in this condition we actually take up whole things and put in our refrigerator so wsn is a suitable real time monitoring as it actually monitors the logistics is all about uh, environmental parameters like temperature so it will give an accurate data collection that means the demand of the cold chain logistics actually researchers have worked on this with the help of a zigbee zigbee is on nothing rather than it is a bluetooth type but bluetooth is used for a very large wide area not very large but comparatively in compared to that of zigbee it is larger than that of zigbee here they used a zigbee ad hoc network model to build a system framework and by using a fuzzy control decision the environment parameters are maintained in a stable range so that uh, we can um, come to a point that whether there is a increase or decrease in things happening in the cold chain a second one is the robotics topic which is my most favorite topic and robotics navigation we all are using google map so how this actually this google map works that's the thing which i'm going to tell you the robotic navigation method provides road maps for the robots to our the google map is also a type of robot so it will give you the whole thing about wherever you want to go it will give you the path it will give you everything so i will tell you how it happens one by one it uses a wsn with sensor designed to provide sophisticated maps of the sensing area each sensor construct a map of the particular area and then whole maps from each sensors are connected to form one large map once the road map is generated the sensors are used to sense areas of interest actually you would have seen that when you are for example you are going to map going to chennai you will not get one path you will get multiple paths and in some multiple paths you will see that there will be a red mark with is showing that there is traffic so these are all detected by the sensor nodes and uh, the latest thing which i noticed is that actually the location thing is always on in my mobile phone so i get email from the google map stating that the places which i have visited shows fever corona cases there so these all happens with the sensor nodes which are connected and acts as the robot and the third one is the machinery health monitoring so health monitoring means it's concerned about the health so first one is that the health equipments which we use not us i mean i'm an engineer so i'm not going to use doctors use like cat cat stethoscope ecg and etc etc so in order to detect or predict the occurrence of false false which occurs in the systems we can use this machine health monitoring and wsn is developed in order to perform energy usage evaluation and condition monitoring for electrical machines not only electrical machines used in health centers but also it helps in monitoring the oil and gas pipelines uh, during as of my knowledge during a uh, delivery time gas pipelines oxygen gases are very much required so in order to have a regular check that the amount of oxygen level is present so for that the sensor nodes really helps and really they have one that is remong r e m o n g which was actually introduced by some of the research people in order to detect the existence of leakage not only to check whether there is a pub but also leakage because leakage can also result in serious hazard conditions so it also helps not only to monitor the pressure and temperature but also ensures that there is any leakage going on in this so this was the whole thing about the applications which i went through that where wsn works out in industrial cases so i hope that you understood and you enjoyed my video thank you